Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be seeing about pre-hook, post-hook, as well as on run start and on run end, as well as how to trigger the macros directly from the console instead of using the macros inside the models. We can even trigger the macros directly. So let's see all these three options. Now let's go and first see pre-hook and post-hook, which we have already seen. Here the pre-hook is executed before this model gets executed and post-hook is executed after this model gets executed. The purpose of pre-hook and post-hook is in case if you want to give some kind of permissions or update any grants to the database or in case if you want to audit some logs before the model gets triggered, something like that. If In case if you want to check anything, you can execute that specific SQL. Inside this pre-hook, you can give multiple SQLs as well by giving this inside the square braces, okay? And or else you can even call the macros as well directly. If you see here, I'm calling the macro a log prehook. Now, if I go to macros and if I go to log prehook, here I'm just inserting the data into the hook table, hook log table with the table name so that I can track which tables have been executed when I do the dbt run. Okay, so that's the purpose of prehook and post hook. It can be triggered with macros or without macros. The SQL statements, update statements, any kind of SQL statements can be given here insert update grant or any kind of things. So now if I go to dbt projects.yml, we have another option which we need to declare inside the dbt projects.yml called on run start, on run end. Here either you can trigger the macros or again you can give any kind of SQLs here. I am going with the macros here. Here I am triggering another macro and inside that macro I am just doing an insert statement. So when you do dbt run or dbt test or dbt compile for the whole project run, it triggers before the dbt run and it triggers after the dbt run. It, now it not only with the dbt run, it works for dbt test, for dbt docs generate or dbt compile everything before the start of the dbt command and after the execution of the dbt command, this particular macros gets triggered. So for the whole oh, project one run, this gets triggered. It can be used again for the auditing purpose or any kind of uh, grants you can give on the database anything for every any sql can be executed here okay so now let's go to macros and see if you see i have a macro here it takes the customer id as an argument and here i just have the select statement that's it the i'm setting them into the query the query has be you know right to set something into the variable you have to use set and the variable name and the value is this one end set so the all this will will be assigned to this variable query and i'm just running the query this is a D run query is a dbt method internal mm, you, you can execute any kind of sql statement and the exit the output of the run statement i'm storing inside the result variable again to set a variable he, again we have to use set now i'm iterating the results and lo logging them okay just to print in the console i'm just doing this but you can trigger any kind of macro directly from the console as well so i'm just trying to show you how we can trigger the macros directly from the console but before that let me just do dbt run and show you whether this particular tables uh, have been triggering these macros and inside those macros however we are doing some logging right so let's check if that is working fine or not so if you do dbt run if you do dbt run if you see here first on start got executed Okay, on run and got executed at the end of the db run. In between, the model got executed. Okay, so inside the model, we are using post hook and pre hook. So now, if you can go to the database and you can check this hooks log. If you see, this got executed very perfectly. Fine. Now, you can even check this particular table as well. Uh, run log see this particular things got executed okay see the 520 and 521 that's it so now let's see how we can trigger the macro directly from the console so this is the command which we use dbt run operation and the macro name and if you have any arguments to then you can pass that particular argument okay so if we run it as i'm printing the output using the log it needs to print the output see row one which is a customer id and then the count there are three records and this is a decimal value total sum is this much so like this we can even trigger the macro using dbt run operation so these are the three things which we need to be aware one is how what is pre-hook and post-hook and the second thing is what is this on run start and on run end which executes once for every whole project run like whether you do dbt compile or dbt test or dbt run it gets executed and the next thing is uh, how to trigger the macros directly from the console like this dbt run operation that's it thank you so much for watching